Hey guys, Motorola Triumph user here, and today I do not have a Motorola Triumph, and I do not have an Asus Transformer Prime, but I have the HTC Evo V 4G. Now, this does have the Sprint logo on it instead of the Virgin Mobile, but this is activated with Virgin Mobile, and I'll prove that by booting it up right now. Now, I'm doing this, and no, this is not a complete cold boot. All I did was power it off. Um, I did not remove the battery, because this actually is kind of a pain from currently... I mean, it might get easier, easier on, uh, later on, but it's kind of a pain to remove the back cover. So, and I want to say the back cover wraps around the entire phone. So, that comes off, and those buttons come off. These stay on because they're part of the phone, if you can see. I can get the light over here. Just a bit more. You can see. It goes around there. Now see there's not a Virgin Mobile logo there. They kind of just flashed the uh, Virgin Mobile software onto their physical buttons there, 3D camera. Now this is also part of the back, this is not part of the camera. Um, then you got this nice textured back. You can kind of see that there, the lines. Now that is very good for grip. For example, I have this hero thing here. And if I get this Triumph. It'll stick on there too. Which I, I'm, I'm actually going to show you guys a comparison just for anyone who has a Triumph and anyone who has an LG Rumor Touch. So, um, this one sticks on even better than that. <clears throat> so, and we have, now they make it look silver, but it's really not silver. It's just black and black, and there's your front facing camera. And it should say HTC right there and not have a sprint, not have HTC there, but HTC in the middle. I'm not sure what that is, but there is an LED right light right there. Um, again, in case you didn't see that, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it is kind of reflective, so maybe it's a mirror of some sort. Here you have your 3D switch and your physical uh, camera button, which you can, which is really nice. If you're a professional photographer, um, if you push it down halfway, it'll focus and all the way will um, capture the photo. <clears throat> so that's really nice. Now this is micro USB right here. HTC does sell adapters and a dock to go with this. And it does have an app called Dock Mode on here. So, sorry guys. Okay, but you can get adapters so you can use this as an HDMI. I'm not sure how much the adapter costs. Um, but if I can find it, I will put it in the description or an annotation. So now we're going to boot up the phone. And see how this goes. And that was like, what, three seconds? Two seconds? It didn't even show the HTC logo on that time. Sometimes it'll show it, sometimes it won't. It Now guys, don't hold this thing down forever. Because I'm used to it on the Triumph. You just hold it down and you wait for it to vibrate. On here, if you hold it down, it's going to take a lot longer to boot up. And it's going to show the HTC logo longer. So, but this phone boot, it boots up very fast. It boots up in between 2 and um, 10 seconds. But on a cold boot, it took about 20 seconds. But I was holding down the power button for a long time. Because I was thinking, waiting for a vibrate. And I do have a 4G WiMAX um, speed test results. Even though I'm not in a 4G WiMAX area. And you see I do have face unlock setup on here. Um, I actually will test that in... I'm probably going to make a few parts of this, probably three or four parts, because uh, I don't want just one huge long video. So you see we got some really nice widgets here. Um, calculator widget I just put on there. Uh, not going to be useful yet, but it will be once I get into algebra next year. Uh, Facebook chat, which I'm offline right now. You know, HTC weather. Now this is really nice animations here. This has to load it right now. And I am connected to Wi-Fi, so this review will go by faster. But, because I get like one bar on, of 3G here, so. So that's some nice animations here. Obviously, it doesn't show up that well on camera. Now, I want to say, not everything is 3D on this phone. If you ever saw the old HTC Evo 3D commercials, you would see the the sun like pop out of there, thinking that the entire phone was 3D at every single second of it. Well, that's not true. That's just for some uh, specific applications, as in the uh, camera application, gallery application, uh, when you're watching 3D content or playing 3D games. 
and that's basically all. So I'm just going to show you the animations here. Got some really good ones. Uh, now, of course, this camera is not representing it that well. Uh, these clouds don't really look red in there. It actually is a pretty nice animation there. And now we're at the beginning. <clears throat> so here we got down our weather. We can get now, hourly, and four day. So, also, you also have to remember that these are different from the Triumph. So if you're coming from the Triumph, this will be kind of hard to get used to. I've gotten used to it, but I've been using this phone like crazy. I'm serious, guys. So, the only difference is that this home button is where the menu button is now. I'm not sure if you saw me, but I was going for the home button and I pressed the menu one. So, just make sure that you can adjust to that easily. Now, you also got some nice folders on the home screen. We pull that up and we have... Now, I will do reviews on these two apps. These are for Wi-Fi tethering without root. Because it wouldn't let me um add the tethering to my plan because they wouldn't do it at Best Buy for me but um you will be able to uh, Wi-Fi tether for free on here I'm not sure if it works with 4G IMAX but I'm pretty sure it does okay so that will be later video that will not be in the review that will be in a separate video that is not labeled on the review it will probably be labeled under a uh, Wi-Fi tethering for root free I mean without root without root sorry Without root for free. Now it uses Foxfly and PDA Net. And PDA Net is for the tablet. Which I have a tablet version there. Which I thought I downloaded the wrong one. PDA Net 3.5 is what you need in there. Let's uninstall the PDA Net for tablet real quick. Now, I do want to say that you're running HTC Sense 3.6 on here. And that's not the latest version, but it is still very nice. You still got this nice carousel effect if I can get it on here. And, you know, there is absolutely no lag on this phone. It is an absolute, um... It's kind of power hungry, but you do get a 1730 milliamp battery in here. Uh, dual core 1.2 gigahertz uh, snapdragon processor so you're gonna have no lag unless if you are like using up all your ram which is very hard because you get a gig of ram in here and you can only use up to about 797 of that for yourself now you can see that you have to add in all the other things that will um count into that so you'll get around 300 for when, when you first get it, you'll get probably around 300. And you can refresh it down here. And kill all of them. And you see now I have... Um, I have... I'm using 421 and I have 376 free. So you should get around 400 megabits when you first get the phone on. And you see I do have this customized... Uh, not dramatically but just a little so hopefully that won't be confusing for you guys so now we got our app drawer this scrolls down page by page if you can see that line right there separating the pages so um you also get an update called zone dash sprint i believe or sprint dash zone and all that will do is reinstall the my account and it'll put it in their downloaded fold your downloaded tab so um I guess it's updating the My Account app. Now this My Account app is different for Virgin Mobile. You will see that hopefully it's not showing any of my... Okay, it's not. But you see you got uh, tabs up here. My Account, Help, Virgin News, Suggested Apps, and Device Tips and Tricks. So, um, th the Suggested Apps is definitely new. And a lot of this is new too. Um... And you also have a version mobile tab. If you scroll down here, you can see nice animations. I mean, not animations, but nice little pictures for the tabs. So, this runs Android 4.0, 4.0.3. So, you can use Google Chrome on here. Now, I want to say Chrome is highly beta right now. Um, 
I've the tablet version works perfectly fine for me. It just doesn't have flash. But um on here Ooh no 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 no. 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 Uh okay, I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but that was my number. Okay. Um but this will sync with your PC. So if I come to I you see I got my other bookmarks, mobile bookmarks and desktop bookmarks. Now this does not come preloaded with any 3D content, but you can download 3D content from GameSloth, which they're all five dollars. And if you come to your watch app, you can also get 3D content for. Um, well, you can only rent one movie that is 3D, and that one will cost you um, seven dollars to rent. And I think you have 40. Oh no, yeah, 3D movie will cost you seven dollars to rent it. I and it, that one's rated R, so. Um, unless you're gonna watch it with your parents, if you're under 18, or if you're, um, why am I saying this? Because, you, you know, you guys probably just defy the R rating. And if you want to buy it, well, you're going to be in about $27. But it does come with <clears throat> three trailers preloaded on here. Battle Los Angeles, go just go with it, and the Green Hornet. And you do have tons of movies you can rent, just not many 3D movies. So, that's HTC Watch, you're going to have to sign up for it before you can do anything. Now, this just come preloaded with um, HTC um, Sense, I mean, Facebook for HTC Sense, so you do have a very nice layout here. I actually like this a little more than the stock Facebook app. Um, it's it's a l has a little less functionality, but everything just loads a ton times faster. Like here, if I wanted to find my friends, I don't have to search it; it's just right there, all my friends. If I come here, I have to wait for it to load. And I was on 3G, and I was typing in my cousin, my second cousin's name, and it was taking forever to load. So, um, that's that. Now, when you come to the uh, notif pull down notification bar, you'll see I have Virgin Mobile up there since that is my carrier. You have your recent apps, so you can switch.